Hey everyone, what's going on? Joey Contino here, and well, we filmed a video the other day walking the entire length of the boardwalk from Cressy Avenue to 16th Street, and you guys loved the video, and you said, can you do it during the daytime? So, we're doing this right now. It is summer 2023, and we're gonna start here at 16th Street and make our way to Cressy. We're passing the best sign in the entire world. Through this arch walk, the happiest people in the world, and it's so true. There's a little bit of a wind, so I apologize in advance. But you get the tram car here on the left-hand side about to go off. Uh, if any of the audio cuts out or a random song plays, it means that we passed a place that had a copyrighted song and so that YouTube is kind of hitting us with something. But uh, let's make our way down the boardwalk. We'll try to stay down the middle as best as possible. But essentially what's going to happen is, is that we'll have to move from side to side. Uh, though I don't expect it to be too crazy today. It is currently 2 p.m. So mostly everyone is going to be on the beach. At least that's the hope of it. As you can tell, we don't really have blue skies today. But a lot of people actually ask me why we film these videos. And a quick little story for you is that every time we do our end of the year videos, it winds up being something where it's like, hey, what business was there? We don't know what was there anymore. Or the year after that, we figure out like, hey, something changed. What used to be in this spot? And well, I used this video, which is filmed in 4K, as like a reminder of like, oh, this is what was there. It's not there anymore. But then, of course, I put the video online for you guys. Now, yesterday's or the other day's video took about 57 minutes. I'm walking by myself today, so we'll see how long it's going to be here as we hit minute marker two right now.
start your weekend with a bang every Friday night when the Friday night fireworks light up the skies of the Wildwoods at 10 p.m. Yeah. The Wildwoods oh, football game is supposed to see the fireworks every Friday night this summer. For more info, visit www.com. At the 10 minute mark, we're coming up to Surfside Pier. You can only throw one at a time, so you can't just chuck your whole bucket. I don't know why you do that though. It's not as much fun. Yeah. 
there's, I'm waiting for the slideshow to move one more slide. There's a slideshow of all of our winners. Passing curly fries on our left. Actually, it smells really good right now. And then to our right, we've got the world famous Sam's Pizza, which a lot of people said I didn't mention in the other video. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> we mentioned Max, this time we mentioned eating Sam's. And yes, this is the new boardwalk section. And because this section is done, we can actually have all of the cars on here for the fall classic show, classic car show. Sorry. <laughs> when you move the gimbal too much, it shakes like that, so I apologize in advance. And here's a tram car. I want to do a video essentially going through all of the seagulls of the Wildwood Boardwalk because there's so many of them. And these ones are always funny to me because it's like they're hanging out in a beach chair just kind of like enjoying the sun. I also apologize to everyone who I can't stop to talk to for a little bit because I'm trying to do this in one shot, so I'm so sorry. But you made the video. We are now in between Mariner's Pier on the left-hand side and Surfside Pier, which is down that way. It's hard to say, see it. But... Sorry, guys. 
Surf Siberia is over there. So. I love this view of Mariner's Pier. There will always be Mariner's Landing to me. And there goes a sea serpent. But uh, let's continue our tour. transitions from the new new section phase two to phase one Here we are coming up to Mariner's Pier on our left. Honestly, today's a perfect water park day because it's not too bad. Walk over here for you to check it out. The rides are just opening up for the day, so. Been open for about an I'll say about an hour ish now. But uh, let's continue on our walk. So many different songs going on at once over here. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you can stand right here and just hear all the different songs going on at once. There's so much going on. And as we hit Mariner's Pier, we're hitting 20 minutes. It's becoming a little bit humid out here now. 
son's trying to get out. Here's a little out of it, I don't want to stop. We'll pan over for you. Really is a beautiful day. Let's get back on the boardwalk. Definitely a different kind of atmosphere during the day versus during the night. Different music, different everything. It's no white on the right. I know in the comment section probably probably people are saying why there are only tram cars on the right side right now because when they start off the rotation they start up on the left side and they go down the boardwalk and then come back this way so they're all finishing up their first loop of the day since they only really start around one Coming up to Adventure Pier, you can see the new Curly's Fry sign. And it's funny because if you actually look at the shipping container, it almost looks like a giant Curly Fry. Did they, did they mean to do that? Because if not, I mean, that is on brand. <laughs>
can see all the uh, different kinds of plush animals they have now. I smell coffee, it smells really good. This is the Coors Brothers new building. Let me know what you guys think. There's a whole upstairs deck you can hang out on. Don't know there's another location for the parking place down here. It's awesome, look at that. The progies are amazing. Pretty much outside the convention center right now. But on the right hand side, I want to share with you the Do Up Preservation League or the Do Up Experience. It's a little uneven on my gimbal, I apologize. But this right here, this is the Do Up Experience. So many historical wildwood things inside. Talks about what Do Up is. Uh, it is open right now. It's open during the summer, so make sure you check it out. Honestly, you gotta check out the neon sign because it's really, really cool. And they do tours as well. Check out all the cool do up motels. But as we hit the 30 minute mark, we're gonna be right in front of the Wildwoods Convention Center. I think today they have some kind of clothing event there. We also have the first tram car on the left hand side coming our way. This is the one that we saw all the way when we started this video. It finally caught up to us. So during the day, the tram car is definitely faster than walking. 
I see a tram car in a second. Stop him right in front of the convention center. <laughs> so now we're continuing down past the convention center. The wind picked up just a little bit. We are just about to hit Taylor Avenue, which means the street after that is Rio Grande Avenue, which is where the giant Wildwood sign is located. I apologize about the windy, windy feedback we're getting. You can't put a microphone on this while you're recording, unfortunately. This is the Primo Hoagie tram car coming up. You see it on the right hand side, it looks just like a hoagie. A hoagie on the front. And we're going to turn to go check out the Wildwood sign. in wide mode for you. You'll see a little bit of the gimbal on the video. But get you a pretty cool shot of the Wildwood sign. All oh, the beach balls. Let's get right back onto the boardwalk. Go through the W's. I mean the O's, sorry. <laughs>
We are just a few blocks away from the end. This is Leeming Avenue on the right hand side. This is the new pump house. You can see at the end the tram car is making a U-turn to come back this way. Wind is definitely picking up. We have only only have about another block left to go until we're at the end of the Wildwood Boardwalk. Here's a tram car, getting ready to head out. You can see the world famous gig, giving some advice to the driver. <laughs> You're probably just talking. What we're gonna do is we're gonna hang a left over here and make our way off the boardwalk. This continues the bike path down. So if you were biking on the boardwalk before 1 p.m., uh, you would continue down here. See, this is where the tram car ends and makes a U-turn and there's a tram car office over here on the left hand side. And this is the bike path down. Technically speaking, we could go this way. This is the official end of the boardwalk. There is something really cool here that many people don't realize. There's a sundial. So if you stand here, the very, very middle, put this in wide mode for you. If you stand here in the middle, you can figure out, I'm sorry, not a sundial, it's a sundial in a way. Um, you can find out what type of year, it, what, what, what month it is, and the time of day. And the current month. So if we were, I know right now we're in August, so if we stood here, we kind of have a good understanding that it's the sun's actually it's like over here somewhere. I forget what time it is actually. But at the 40th minute, we are now finishing our tour, walking down these steps. To the beginning of Wildwood Crest. So once you cross over Cressy Avenue, you're in Wildwood Crest, but they put the archway here. And there you guys go. That is arch to arch, the entire length, almost two miles of Love the you, Wildwood. Thank you so much. Oh, that's it. Yeah, there's the guy. <laughs> um, the almost two mile boardwalk walk. Uh, when you do bike, I always suggest you can continue biking down here all the way to the, to the reserve, all the way at Diamond Beach. Maybe one day we'll uh, do a walking tour for you here. If you want one, let me know in the comment section. We're gonna turn around. But I want 
to thank you guys for joining me. If you haven't done so yet, please subscribe, turn on notifications, and give this video a thumbs up. A special thank you out to my patrons on patreon.com. It's because of them I could do fun videos like this. If you too want to support this channel and have your name at the end of the video, all you have to do is click the links in the description below. And uh, we are trying to hit 100,000 subscribers by Labor Day Monday. And we did about, I think, 19,000 so far. So please make sure you help us out. And uh, I do have to say, I apologize once again to everyone that we kind of, not that we walked past you, we we're trying to film this in one shot. So I do apologize. And hopefully I'll see you guys on the boardwalk or most importantly, the beach, which is right over here. Anyway, I'll see you guys later. Bye.